how about a short little garden stroll? We're on Orcas Island, visiting Janny's sister and the husband, shooting off the front deck, looking out over the lower garden, bamboo grove, smoke bush, clematis growing up through. variety of leaf varieties and types. Take a quick stroll over off the deck here. Just the landing to the lower kitchen. Michael is the master gardener. This is a lovely collection of evergreens and kind of bonsai feel sleeping Buddha in a bed of I don't know some little Veronica or something lovely little scene here and then there's Another Buddha under his tree. Contemplating life. This is the front, what used to be the driveway. Now it's just a walkway. Over to the koi pond. The blue statue is, um, oh, I can't think of her name. The lovely little contemplation pool. There's goldfish and a koi in there. Mary blessing it from the side. One of the garden paths, leaning down into the woods. A big old, I don't know, some kind of a dogwood looking vine. I don't know what kind of vine it is growing up that tree. It goes quite high. It's high, high time in the garden. It's a high sun, so lots of contrast here. One of the paths leading down through, and you can see down at the end there's St. Christopher, I think, is that down at the end. The lawn, they're not watering as much this year. It's quite dry here, so I've had a very dry spring and summer. Lots of different layers of leaves and colors and varieties. But the lawn is covered in these, uh, this variety of dandelion. It's different than our dandelion. Over across the way, there's a, I don't know, magnolia maybe, blooming. path into the terrace. There's another lovely little Buddha meditation spot there. Lots of flowers scattered all around. This is the terrace, fireplace and whatnot. Through the trees there, you can see the lower part of the horse pasture. Variegated grass, 
beautiful geranium ferns interesting barked tree the main part of the garden this is one path of it has lots of rhododendrons Michael the master gardener I believe he has about 200 different varieties of rhododendrons in his garden they're all done blooming for the year lovely little rock sculpture so I'm kind of walking through the rhododendron forest right now down the path down into what they call the shade garden although there's lots of shade here and give a shot back into what we just walked through. Lovely painted ferns. Another lovely little seating area. There's a few flowers left there. On the late bloomers. Bamboo in a pot. Some kind of a still be, maybe. All around there's interesting plants, lovingly cared for. Sculpture and different gods and goddesses. Black Mondo grass. I don't know what this yellow variegated one is. Another lovely little garden gnome display with the horns out of rotting trunks of trees. We're, while we're walking, we're walking also through big, tall, trees, dug firs and spruce and hemlocks. That's looking back up on the lawn towards the terrace. There's the St. Christopher angel. We'll walk on here real quick and show you the entry and the Benches and seating areas scattered all about. Rock walls excavated. Lovely flowers here at the front. Looks like a variegated dogwood tree, perhaps. This is the front gate to the property. Big swaths of red crocosmia. That's what those bright crimson are. That's a gunnera plant. It's kind of a Jurassic age looking thing. It gets giant later in the summer and has a big giant bloom stalk that comes up. Can you hear the rooster crowing? Chicken coop. Vegetable garden there to the left and off in the horse field you can see the two horses. Round pen down below. There's the other side of the bamboo grove. And here from the bottom of the driveway you can see the house back up in the trees. 
hope you enjoyed our garden stroll. It wasn't quite as short as I started out thinking. Take care.